Hello, my friends. Well, in continuing with my Arteza adventure, I'm using the Arteza pouring colors, but I'm trying to make them stretch by diluting them with a Floetrol and glue mix. As always, I'll put the exact colors and ratios down below in the description box. But my thinking is to do kind of a warm side and a cool side. I'm going to swipe with black in the middle and go both ways. And I have added two drops of silicone to the black only. So let's see what happens. It's quite thin. So I'll do a couple rows of each color, a couple, three rows. I hope I mixed enough. It's not a lot of paint. Oh well, we'll hope for the best. Wow. After I lay this down, I may have to mix some more paints. I, I'm not feeling very confident in the amounts I mixed. This is a little bigger canvas than I originally intended to use. Uh, maybe I'll just mix a, a fourth color. I'm using neon orange, which should be fun. I'm using them all straight from the bottle, with the exception of this one, was a mix of um, the Thalo Blue plus white. Okay, well... <clears throat> I'm going to quickly mix one more warm color, one more cool, fill in those gaps, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've returned. I mixed up some sea green and coral. Um, the sea green was too thin, and the coral, I don't care for the looks of it here, but um, too late now. So rather than, rather than go from the middle, I'm going to start at the top that I like better and bring it down here and with just one one swipe tilt it this way just a little bit I didn't really get the good coverage see how liquidy the um, the uh, sea green is for some reason I don't know why I used the same ratios oh well there we go And 
and I'm just I'm going to use this foam thing, um, and we're going to pull on the I'm going to pull tension on the edges so it makes good contact, and swipe it on down. Here we go. So much for my warm side. <laughs> Some of it will come through, but um, I certainly preferred the the cool side. Well, Very pretty down here where the uh, warm colors are coming through. Didn't uh, get enough. I'm going to swipe down the sides here. I didn't get very good. Um, black didn't carry down. Let's try it. Well, maybe I'll even add a little bit. Maybe I'll just dip my um, card into the black. Swipe that down. That's not working. <laughs> what not to do. Doing it again, what a dodo. Okay, um, ooh, that's kind of pretty. No gloves. I'm gonna move it around, see if we. Get something more interesting than this though. Move it side to side. Well, I'm I'm really surprised that the uh, light side just the warm side just disappeared so much. I would have thought that I would run out of the um, you know, the black and the blue at least two thirds of the way down. Yeah, here it comes a little bit. Oh, that sea green's way watery. I don't know why that is. Kind of pretty, though, this effect I'm getting. Hmm. Hmm. I'll hit it 
with a torch again. If I could bring up more cells over here, I might be happy with it. Arteza doesn't want to be diluted. You know, it's it's kind of pretty though. Um, I like I kind of like it, but it didn't react the way I expected. But you know, that's what experiments are all about. You, I always uh, deem my fails as potential backgrounds for an embellishment. And while I deem this experiment a fail, I think it, I, I think it's a keeper as far as uh, background goes. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop there. It may percolate some more while it sits, but um, it may not. <laughs> Let me bring in for a closer look at some of these areas are kind of pretty. Oh, that's that uh, neon orange peeking through there. Interesting. Yeah, it, it's kind of pretty. Just not what I expected at all, but uh, that's okay too. All right. Well, you won't know unless you try. I tried, and now we know. <laughs> okay, my friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.